Hello, lovely viewers. You're welcome to Prime Connect. On this episode, today we'll be talking to a gentleman. He has defied all odds to become a champion in a particular field. He loves computers. That's what he works with almost all the time. I don't know how many of you can leave your comfort zones, but this gentleman left his comfort zone to run his own business. He's relatively young. And when we start the interview, you will understand why at that age, it may probably be very difficult for even people older than himself in their fields to leave their jobs, regular jobs that provide you security and to concentrate on their own businesses. Today, we'll be speaking to Desk Coats. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Rob. That's my coffee. Thank you very much. Right. So, the gentleman here loves something. He loves red colors. Today, I just want us to ask him, why red colors all the time? <laughs> Although today he's not in red, but he loves red colors. Why, why do you love red? Any special reason? Anyway, uh, well, you, as you can see, there's still red here. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the blue dominates light blue of some sort. Of course, I want to divert the attention <laughs> of people. I know very well that we're expecting to see me in red. Red, I was expecting so to see you in red. To, yes. <laughs> Well, red is a color that actually denotes, uh, you know, energy. Okay. okay. Uh, denotes uh, blood, mm -hmm. war, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of that. So, uh, my reason for actually always being in red is like, um, it's, it's something to keep me boiling all the time. Okay. okay. Be active. Okay. A reminder that, hey, you are in a warfare. Conquer whatever is before you. Wow, wow. And wow. it's, uh, uh, red also is a color of emotions. Okay. Uh, so I, it also keeps my emotions in check. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, you know, wherever I find myself, I try to relate. I try to find myself, you know, relating with the environment I find myself. So there's a whole lot that actually goes into why <laughs> you see me in red. <laughs> okay. It, it's, it's my emblem. It's my, my, my flag. Your anthem. Uh, Anywhere anthem. we see is the red. It's a red. Right, right, right. <laughs> Are you a Manchester United fan or Liverpool fan? Unfortunately, football is not a thing for me. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I do like blue colors. I, right. I just love blue colors. I don't know why. So today you've been in blue, a light blue of some sort. Every blue is a blue color. <laughs> I'm a prophet somehow. So yeah, okay. I just came in to be able to impress you. You know that I'm with you here. <laughs> All right, right. So uh, we'd like to know the person, Desmond. Who, who is Desmond? Who is Desmond? Um, this question is uh, simple, but complex <laughs> and so i'll go in the simple way this okay. one is just a, a simple young guy mm -hmm. and uh a, you know i'm an indigenous of the casino nankana municipality okay uh my mom is a busa my dad is a, a nankana okay and so i grew up here but i was born in uh you know obuasi okay okay region. but uh, i was brought here when i was still a toddler Dead so man. it's unfortunate if you talk to me uh you speak tree to me i don't actually <laughs> i can understand what you're saying but i can't respond because uh, you're only born there but yes you didn't really grow exactly yeah. that's the point mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh growing up uh this month faced a lot of you know up and downs but all the same um i schooled primary school junior high school within here and then i did my senior secondary school at navrongo senior high and then I uh, did my college, uh, you know, diploma in basic education as uh, a Tamil College of Education. No, okay. Uh, Tatko, right? Yes, Tatko. Tatko, okay. Uh, but now we actually call it TASI. TASI. Yes. Oh, okay. Tamil College of Education. Education. Yes, TASI. Okay. okay. Right. So, um, you know, I finished there and then I have to, you know, pick up myself. Uh, thankfully, you know, married with one kid and <laughs> expecting one suit. Expecting one suit. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So, uh, the, the first born, yeah. boy or girl? It's a boy. A boy, okay. Yeah. So, the second one? Uh, well, I'll keep that one. You keep that down. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, uh, now this is Desmond telling us about Desmond. Yes. Now, uh, how do people view Desmond? So what, what are some of the things you hear of Desmond? Right. Th things they see that you are. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. Uh, okay. As, um, this is also another complicated question. <laughs> you see, um, there is a saying that how you view something, if you wear a lens, how you view it depends on why, what kind of lens you are wearing. Okay. So how people see me is based on uh, the kind of lenses they are wearing. 
Okay. Some see me as a friendly person. Some see me as a, a really compassionate person, a philanthropist, and uh, others see me as um, oh, those ones. I I usually don't want to to, to, to talk about <laughs> them because they sound really weird to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we are in this part of our world where people, when they find you so addicted to computers, mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to their mind is it, you're a scammer it, it, or you're a fraudster. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, among all those things that people see about you, yes, which of them is actually you, like yourself, like do you accept? Okay, this is actually me. Like someone sees you, oh, he's a compassionate person, he's um somebody who is a, a go-getter yeah. and all that. Okay, so, so what do you associate with me? I'm an achiever. I'm a survivor, and I'm a uh, a very passionate, lovely, and open-minded person. Okay, uh, I like to tackle issues with that. You know, I have to ask questions before I accept things. Okay. And my doors are always open to people. When you see me, you just reach out. My arms are always open to accept people in. But then, I always ha like to verify my trust before I do that. So, uh, this one is compassionate, lovely, an achiever and a survivor. Okay, an achiever and a su survivor. Yes. So, like, that should be a trait of every human being. Exactly. You have to achieve, you have to survive. This is almost like a jungle to all of us, so we ought to survive. Now, uh, Desmond is always seen doing so many things. It's like not one thing per se, um, involved in education, almost everything. Yeah. Desmond talks about activities, entertainment, uh, philanthropy. I mean, I mean, that's one. How do you do this? Or I mean, what's the interest? Okay. okay. <laughs> what pushes you to do um, all these things? Uh, as you rightly asked initially, uh, who is that small? Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, um, somebody who is passionate and always like to welcome people in. So it's always in me that when I find someone trying so hard, okay, because I find myself somewhere before and I was trying so hard and a little push got me where I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I find somebody in whatever field you are in and you really need that push and I have that hand that I can help push, maybe it might not be my area of expertise though, like something I know much about, but maybe my little push can also help. So I just take it as, well, it won't take But, but what are the areas you probably wouldn't get yourself involved in? Things that you see, they are not bad things though. Uh, they may be bad things, but there are other things that are fine, but you just don't like associating yourself with them. Wow, yeah. that will kind of really <laughs> be limited. As long as it's legal uh -huh. under the Constitution of Ghana, I have no problem. You have an interest in I mean, going to. I mean, I'm okay. Even with sports that you see, you're actually not a fan. I was a sports guy. Oh, really? Okay, I was a sports guy. Okay, so <laughs> growing up at uh, one way, uh, at junior high, I remember Korania Junior High. Okay, okay. The, okay. the, the, the primary school will come and select us, and I was one of the top guys <laughs> that will have to select us to go back and play. Okay, football, right? Yeah, football. <laughs> so I'm I was today, in there. You probably cannot kick a ball. Oh, uh, I. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, come on. You, wait, one day we, we might have to just oh, know, yes. get ourselves to the phone. <laughs> and um, uh, athletics, I've been there. I, I did run, um, you know, 100 meters. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, I did that uh -huh. from primary school uh, to junior high school. Uh, I, I mean, so sports, yeah, I was in. Wow. Uh, wow, wow so wow. I, I, I am in. Just, I think. Betting is a little bit weird for me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm so not against it. I'm not against anyone doing it, but it's a little bit weird. Mm. I did some before, though. Oh, okay. I know so much. So. <laughs> I you let, you let lessons. Exactly. Mm. Yes. No, okay. Now, uh, let's take a bit more on your philanthropy. Yeah. Uh, you have a project called Sound Mind Projects. Yeah. Uh, you do it monthly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, What's, what's the motivation? Why did you decide to go into something like that, Sound Mind Project? And okay, uh, about a Sound Mind Project, we are into catering and feeding and taking care of the, uh, you know, those who are mentally challenged. Okay. Uh, I actually didn't start this project. It was my initiative. Mm -hmm. I had it in mind. Mm -hmm. I had a passion for it, but I'm not the one who started it. Uh, Senyala Castro. Okay. He's the one who actually initiated it. So mm. he gave me the vim, 
But you know, uh, as a reporter, there are certain things you have to ensure that you don't always be at the forefront. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we had a talk and he said, okay, uh, since I'm also part and it has been my passion, he wants to put everything in my hands to run it. He will be at the background and also, you know, offer all the support he can. Right, so I looked at it uh, about a Salman project. I realized that, um, you know, if I'm sick, I will want people to take care of me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The people who are mentally challenged are more like they are sick. They need care. Okay. They don't need to be abused. You don't need to, even though you have to, you know, keep some safe distance from them because they are kind of a little bit drifted from the normal way of doing things. So uh -huh, uh -huh. you got to put yourself at the safety corner. But okay. all the same, you know, it's, no matter how wild an animal is, you uh, can tame it. You can tame it. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, when we started, we always had some challenges getting mm -hmm. closer to some of them. But when they, I would be scared. Yes, yeah, when they got <laughs> acquainted to us, you know, when you are getting closer, they they, they come to you. They start coming. Oh wow! So it's a lovely thing, and I just think it's a duty. It's something that I must do. I'm not doing it because I want something for anybody, or I want to be recognized or applauded for anything. No, but I just do it because I want to do it. So, so, so for how long have you been doing it? Okay, so we started this. Uh, Castro started it, I think, somewhere 2016, thereabout, okay. to 2017 when I joined. Okay. And okay. then now we are in 2014. Uh, sorry. 2020. 2020. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah. So, approximately, that should be uh, mathematically, that's three years. Okay. Effectively. Okay. okay. Yes. The, what are some of the challenges you faced doing this thing? And ha, There's a whole lot of challenge. Sometimes we are kind of like. Uh, challenge to stop. Oh, One wow. <laughs> is uh, this finance. We don't have any funding from anywhere. Just the team that have come together, we come together, raise the money, then we go buy clothes, buy, get food, and uh, we also get, um, you know, soap and all those things to see how best we can uh, bath them and all of that. Then again, we have to also get sanitizers and uh, you know, gloves for our own protection. You know, okay, they are always okay. out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's so much gems. So, finance is a challenge. Then another one has to do with the social stigma that has to do with it. People look at appreciate the work we are doing. Others look, ah, how can I what do this? this? So, the, I mean, the past bad comments and all of that. I remember my mom called me and said somebody saw me somewhere that was doing this, and the person said, "Hey, what, how did I find myself doing some of these things?" <laughs> you know. So, uh, I mean, we just laugh over it and went uh, like that. And then, I think another challenge has to do with uh, the team. Uh, sometimes, you know, everybody has their work mm -hmm. and getting to the end of the month. Sometimes uh, they have other things that take their time. So okay. we don't all get the time to, to move to out like mm -hmm. that. And then again, we know we are in a setting where people believe everything superstitiously. Like, okay. superstition is too high here. <laughs> so when they find us doing that, they probably think you are kind of trying to use them for something. something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Now, when we started, it was a little bit difficult, but as time goes on, people, you know, became used to it, they liked it, and, you know, it was in order. Uh, I, I mean, I think so that's... Aside finance and um, the stigma. The stigma, related, yes. And, uh, there's and one the assumptions that I, people have about what about you're doing. It. Then again, yes, the people think we are doing it for applause and self-glory <laughs> and all of that. So, when you make a post about it on Facebook... The actual intent is to encourage someone somewhere mm -hmm. to do the same or, or to, if support you, your to support our cause. Okay. That is it. Personally, I don't do it because I want you to say thank you to me. I don't do it because I want God to bless me. I don't do it because uh, I want you to just say, oh, you are doing a great... No, that's not it. I want to do it because I, it's, it's my duty. I have, to, I have to... How many days do I even have on this head? So, <laughs> I have to... I mean leave a trail behind okay. so okay. it's a duty i have to do all right yes uh, so aside all those challenges uh, there are no other challenges probably you face uh, like mobilizing your people money stigma superstitions and all that i think those are the major issues, the major issues. yes that okay. the major so what's the long-term goal actually what do you seek or are you looking at something yes mm, okay we, we we are projecting uh someday you know very soon uh, uh, what happened was that, like, what we started, 
we are getting the attention of some few people okay who you know are in reputable positions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they are seeing that we are making a progress and i'm hoping that some of these people will start reaching out to them mm. uh if possible we start working on getting a rehabilitation center some of them can be you know rehabilitated and integrated back into society then also we have uh we intend to start running radio, uh, radio programs okay where we talk about how we should treat these people mm. and then what to do if somebody start exhibiting some of these challenges we came to realize that there are some of the uh the families okay uh they have somebody there who is mentally challenged and they just don't care they abandon them they abandon them some of them if you you know they have uh some medicine they give to them okay when they take it they're okay they are but once they don't get time to take it they drift back to the mm -hmm. awkward way of doing things okay do, do so, they buy usually or maybe it's more of a financial issue than they not actually it might even be there okay but not that it, they just don't have time to do it oh, okay you see mm -hmm. that's one thing and you know i think uh, this drug uh, that they always take is also a little bit expensive mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. so uh, acquiring is one problem so we are hoping that we will get the right funding at one point in time you know uh, some of these people we can offer them those things uh, and then we are looking at i think personally what i'm looking at is a rehabilitation center okay I, I was thinking going to come to that yes uh, look, maybe a long term goal probably elsewhere they should be confined yes. in a place yes and properly taken care of exactly mm, so that is also part of your plan yes Oh, okay. that's that's what we're looking at okay so you do this uh, once in a month or is it twice or once actually once? we do it monthly, monthly but sometimes we don't get the time to do it all the time all the time oh, okay okay, okay. Uh, that is because work might get some of us very far away okay uh -huh. so uh, that is always a challenge mm -hmm. uh -huh. because uh, some will say okay once a month is that really enough for these people and all that okay well we are starting so okay. uh, once a month if we are able to go around give them a bath shave their hair and uh, you know um give them some a better meal to eat that for that day mm -hmm. uh, i think taking them another month is, is better than just not doing anything yeah, at, at all, all. It's, it's something to start with mm. if we had the cap i mean we have the capacity to do more than that come on we'll do it all right and i'm hoping we'll do that okay yes now uh you took a very bold decision mm. and step in your life. Uh, someone probably would see you as being not normal in this our part of town. Yeah. Because we all find, I mean, a comfort zone to be a comfort zone. Yeah. The name itself explains what it is, yes, a comfort yes, zone. Yes, yes. So we all want to be comfortable, we want to be secure and all that, whatever place that we find ourselves. You are a professional teacher, trained teacher, professional yeah. trained. Why did you decide to say, okay, teaching? I don't want to be with you no more. I want to do my own thing. I mean, how did I, that come about? That okay. decision okay. just to move away and be on your own. It's, okay. a, it's a tough one to take. Okay. <laughs> how right. did you About that? that, I think there's a rumor that has been really been spread because I play a lot around that. Yeah. There was a time I was such a way in school, so I was not seen at work post. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when somebody asked me, hey, I've not seen you at work post sometimes. I said, oh, media, uh, I'm not at work post now. I don't work anymore. Don't, don't work. <laughs> and because they know I run my computing job, it's mm -hmm. conclusively broadcasted everywhere that hey, mm -hmm. I stopped working and all of that. Actually, I was away for a computing course. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, because of that, I was actually off work. But I'm actually back fully in my work and I'm doing my computing work. Because you're back job. fully? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still teaching. Uh, so, so which school do you teach? I Very teach good. at Naga. Naga? Yes, I village in the outskirts. <laughs> yes, and I'm comfortable there. <laughs> you like there? Oh, I'm awesome. I'm because okay. uh, many people probably wouldn't want to be you see, in rural areas. and uh, That's the one thing about me. When I got there, teachers were lacking. Okay, there are no teachers there. Mm. So if I also want to say, okay, let me uh, request to be sent back to town what happens to those people in the outskirts there okay i remember there was a time when i was uh, you know growing up at junior high we had only two teachers wow who were teaching you know everything and it was a challenge mm. so i realized that if I, was, I mean there's light there there's network for me to do my other work and uh, 
I'm, I'm okay. So I, why, why not? I think I only miss my family. That's, oh. all. That's the only challenge. Yes. Right. I'm sure the people are supportive and all that. And, yeah. and, and that speaks of an, that side of you, that compassionate, uh, willing to sacrifice to make Ghana. Now, you, you seem to have uh, there's an influence when it comes to mobilizing the youth and putting them together and uh, embarking on projects and all that, and with your initiatives and all that. Uh, how, how do you do that? I mean, how, 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 how? Okay. How do you, uh, you, <laughs> do know, you, have, you have a magnet in you that uh, attracts... Well, 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 that's the thing. Uh, people have to like you, to want to get close to you, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, I'm one kind of person, you know, growing up, my mom taught me a lot not to always see the bad peop uh, in people, okay? Okay. But see the good and uh, ignore the bad. So no matter Maybe how little the good is, you... You can, you know, uh, uh, leverage on that. Okay. okay. Okay, so there are people, they see you, they want to get close to you. That's me. Me, I have a principle. That is, if I see you, I like you, and you do things I admire, I approach you. It doesn't matter who you are, I just approach you. And that has given me the ability to coordinate with a lot of people. And honestly, it's just like it's a God-given gift. Mm. That wherever I find myself, I'm <laughs> able to coordinate with people and do things. Mm. So I think uh, if people just have to look at your personality and say, okay, this person, I think I like him. I, I mean, whatever he's doing, I'm inspired. I want to follow. I want us to do things together. So that's just it. That's there's no juju anywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, what well, may say? Okay, looking at where you grew up, how come in town? Then you are popular. People know you. What still want to be with you? <laughs> you know, how, how did you cross all over from? <laughs> you know, it's actually difficult usually to, I mean, move from one part of town, come into town, be known. Yeah, the whole town, like <laughs> you know, uh, you in the the beginning of your conversation you said uh, I left my comfort zone eh? to somewhere. Yeah, that's the point. You see, I actually liked growing. Up, I was actually a private. Uh, I like to be solitary. Okay. I like to do my things maybe privately. Maybe an introvert or something. Exactly, yeah. put yeah. it that way. Mm. Uh, but it all started in twenty. 18. Okay. When a friend called me and said she was contesting in a competition, and so I mean, uh, I've been on the internet space, social media is an aspect. I mean, I'm an expert in that area, mm -hmm. and so if I can help, I said, oh, "Cool, let's do it." So that was where I got myself actually exposed and got myself <laughs> known in the Bronco. Uh, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you go though. Yes. Okay. Now let's just quickly talk about that. Yes. Your role in the workers, um, should I say, entire stay at the GMB uh, competition, 2018. Okay. Um, I would say I was just a part of the whole mob. Uh, first of all, there was a whole network of people. You were, like, you were like the face. Yes, I was the face, but I was even more like the devil. I was, I was the smallest among, but there were bigger stones. There was, there was foundation. There were, you know, a lot of people, you know, down there that were pushing everything. Okay, so I was actually at the top, not top, as in I was superior in people. No, I was more like an errand boy. You can put it that way. So, uh, you know, I looked at it. It was an advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, and a privilege to serve my region and my you know municipality so i got a chance i worked with other people mm -hmm. for us to achieve that mm -hmm. i was actually in charge of you know uh, a whole lot of things mobilizing the team raising funds and voting and all of that and i was very vigilant and you know uh, watching how trends are going what to do at what point in time Eventually dedicated <laughs> a full time, making sure that you know. Oh yeah, I was always wondering. Yeah, how are you able to do that? <laughs> well, I, 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 you know, I and made a promise. On... I made a promise to work here. Okay. Uh, that whatever it takes, we will do whatever we can to support you in the house. Mm. So I didn't want to go back on my word. You know, there are times I promise people, and you know, I'm not able to live up to it. Then that disturbs me. So when I promise uh, that, uh, okay, I will do whatever I can to support, I have to live to that, mm. you know. So times, there are times I have to, you know, set structure, even sometimes do consultation. In fact, there are secrets in books we don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I do consultation, you know, explore more. 
what do I do? What do I do? What is the next thing to do? Mm -hmm. You know, and all of that. So and it actually helped you think and trust me. You, and I learned a whole lot through that because yes. you were not only with the, I yeah. physically you were involved even yeah. in uh, organizing and all that. Yeah. So I was always wondering uh, how are you able to do this, do that. And we are still able to take care of the house, the family, <laughs> and uh, respond to other things. Okay, right? so I think I think I should give a, a much credit to my wife because she really supported me so much. Because I, yeah, and she's <laughs> an understanding woman. Not so many women who really have that understanding to let you, no, you no, know, no, no. run all of that. At times, you know. late in the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are times I will. I remember there was a time. Uh, uh we we were having the, i think that was the final before the finals mm -hmm. the ninth to the finals mm -hmm. uh the, the, there was electricity disconnection in my house mm. so i was without light mm. and i'm supposed to you know oversee and ensure that the votes go through yeah so i had to move to a friend's house mm. and stay there okay so as i was even going that <laughs> night i went and dropped on the floor with my back hey yes because I was rushing, and the time was already getting close mm. for them to close the vote. So wow. I was rushing, so I went and, you know, had a, a little bit of... But it wasn't, you know, Something such... It was a mild one. Uh, it was a mild one. So mm. I got... When they did everything, you know, and then, you know, I was able to get everything done. <laughs> Eventually, you know, it was getting late, so I just have to quickly call my wife that... Uh, look, I'm no, I won't be able to come home, so I was just going to stay at my friend's place okay. for the uh, next day. I'll come over. Then I stayed at my my friend's place and then went home. I did it. I think that for like twice before, mm. uh, you know. Thanks, man. Yeah. I think we want to congratulate you for uh, helping her secure that third position. Mm. I think it's enviable, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looking she, at it, she, you know, she also did a you know a great job in there. She pushed hard and uh, you know she 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 she, she did all she can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's always a competition. You oh, understand. Yeah. So whatever comes out is what the judges you know what they were looking at for the votes. and the votes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. You know. When we uh, were in that, uh, the finals, yeah. hey, it was crazy. Those people, the other, the winner who was from, I think, Eastern region. Mm, yeah. And then the sec first runner-up from Brora Half region, mm -hmm. uh, it was like they were carrying money with a bucket. Bucket. <laughs> they just sit and fed them. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I got to some extent, I was scared. I said, hey, what is happening? But fortunately, the Asante region lady, who was, uh, what is her name? Uh, I forgot her name, though. Mm, yes. Yeah. She, she dropped, she stopped at one point in time. Then mm, we were able to stay. I said, oh, we are at a comfortable <laughs> lead. It's okay. That one, yeah. Let's see what happened next. Wow. So, yeah. That was well, it. that's really commendable. So, uh, when you were doing all these things, did it get to a point, you, maybe you thought of quitting? I mean, this whole thing, why am I being involved in this? It's so tough for me. Did you ever think of quitting? Uh, well, And just yes. allowing someone else to continue the work? <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. I, I thought of quitting at one point in time. And, uh, but, but, but what changed? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I'm yeah. going to tell you that. I actually thought of quitting at one point in time uh, because of comments I was hearing and, you know, from... People were not really supporting Very, the whole thing. Okay. Now, there were people who wanted to take lead and mm -hmm, run some mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I even overheard from some that uh, uh, said there were younger guys who, ha who knows nothing, <laughs> who are taking lead. Let's see how far they'll go with all of this. You know, I must commend uh, uh, Modesta Ayele Zoya. She's an achiever. That lady... Okay. If, if there's anything that has to be done and you put it at the forefront, she doesn't mind doing anything to achieve it. Mm. Okay, I mean, like, she puts her energy into it, her back into it. You know? So, there was a point, some of those comments, uh, you know, were circulating everywhere. Uh, that was during the show. So, at that point in time, I tried giving up. Mm. So, I even spoke to Modesta. Modesta said, Oh, this, don't, you know, ignore some of those comments. They'll, they'll come anyway. Yeah, they'll come anyway. <laughs> we help her secure the third place. With yes, others. there was another challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, people were of the view. Uh, Maybe, uh, we'll, we'll come to something like that. Okay, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's look at that role that you played and with the team. What has been of the team after the whole show? Uh, I think we disbanded. No, oh, okay, okay. Uh, after that show with this band because everybody had to get back to their work and all of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does she have a project to do? Yeah, yeah. She had a project to do. Mm. And I think the project was read with me. 
Okay. Okay. That okay. has to do with going to the outskirts, uh, trying to see how best she can help these kids. Okay, so you know. know. So the funding came from GMB. Uh, no, she's supposed to raise a fund by herself. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, the GMB does not give her any... Okay, fund. probably use a goodwill word. Yes, the, so, the however, she's going to reach out to people, uh, raise the funds. That's, it's, it's to all the queens. Okay. Uh, they don't get funding from the reality house. They, mm. they, 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 they have to go out and raise the funding by themselves. Okay, so yeah. one would say, actually, it was uh, now... Have you abandoned her in some way? The team, uh, oh. you know, now that she's done with the competition, <laughs> raising funds at least to. Uh, no, 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 no. Also, be <laughs> okay. You see, I would say we abandoned it. We, we we didn't abandon her. Okay. You know, we we kind of post when okay. we're doing our th that show. When we're doing that show, mm -hmm. we post our you know daily jobs and okay, all okay. of that. Just so now we have to go back and. Make and sure hit it really hard. Hit it really hard. <laughs> and sure we come back. So I think almost all the teams, some went to school, others have gone back to their work. And so people got busy. Okay. And uh, I think um, that is one of the challenges that actually got us to this band. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I think that is it. And now, now to some of the rumors, you know, uh, it was rumored that, okay, there's more squandered monies and uh, he even used part of those monies to secure <laughs> <laughs> a motorbike for himself and all that. <laughs> How do you act to some of these rumors? Oh, Did you boy. hear them anyway? <laughs> well, you see... Oh, you heard more. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I, heard, I heard even worse. Oh. <laughs> I heard even worse. You see, um, that's the thing. And I think... Um, Oh, when I'm getting to the end of it, I'll see. <laughs> okay, so I heard some of these things. It happens, you know. When we finish the show, okay, the next morning, was even the next morning. It was that very evening. A friend called me from Accra. Mm. I said, "This one, you did a great job, you and your team, okay." And I'm taking this opportunity to thank all those that we work together. Mm -hmm. Those who, you know, wanted anonymity, you know, total yes. anonymity, yeah. and others who were at the forefront. You know, you guys. Was so great, and so this friend called me and said, "That's one. You did a great job, you and your team." But I just want to tell you, brace yourself for some of the <laughs> awful comments that will come. The aftermath. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I was kind of say, "Okay, let me, let me, let me get myself uh, the right armor mm -hmm. for anything that is mm -hmm. going to come up." So yeah, so I was there, and honestly, after that show, I went into my private corner i wanted okay. to stay home and be available to, be to my and yes and, I, and be available to my family so i was there when one friend called me say ah that one this thing i'm hearing this how true is it i said hey which one is that that oh that you mismanage both money and you i said ah who said that that you heard from who from who <laughs> you couldn't authenticate it's a rumor it's a great traveler <laughs> and so and you know, I tried to overlook it, even though that kind of rumor came in earlier. That was one of the things that engineered me to have wanted to stop. But then I overlooked and went in. Okay, so I had a whole lot, but because I was, you know, kind of ready for it, I kind of ignored. Mm -hmm. Now, a whole bunch of things. I know there's a misconception out there that thing that maybe uh, I was kind of the one spreading. And even accusing the family of work here of, you know, accusing me. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not as such. I only say what I heard. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so I wasn't pointing finger with authentication that they said this or they said that. But these are things that were coming to my attention. And once I was hearing some of these things, I just decided to quiet back to my listen. But, you know, there are people who always take up things on their own and start, you know... Spreading them. Uh, carrying them everywhere. Mm. And from all in case, you think I'm the one doing it. I, I, I mean, we did a great job. We worked together and we got to this far. What would I gain from doing anything weird <laughs> that will, will, will get, uh, you know, work his name ruined? It, it won't add any value to me. Uh, it would have been better I shouldn't have even helped her or yeah, supported yeah. the whole thing. Mm. You understand? So yeah. those rumors, they were out there. So it, to me, I think it's part of the journey. There's always a balance. Mm. You played a very big role, I should say that. Mm. Uh, do you, what, what did you learn from it? What are the lessons you picked from taking part in such a thing? Okay. You're looking at the comments and all the positives and negatives if you're going to win them. Right. I, mean, I think what I learned 
first and foremost was uh, uh, teamwork. Okay. How to deal with teamwork. Mm. Uh, everyone effort is needed to achieve greatness. Mm -hmm. So that's that was one. That's one thing. The admin. Okay. Whatever you are doing, especially if you are doing work for a team, keep records. Mm. I was very very uh, particular about that, and I kept that. It helped me a lot. Mm. And um, I think. Uh, be able to reach out to people when there's the need to do it. You do it. Go boldly, face it, and do it. Mm. Okay. You have to. You know, uh, uh, there was a time <laughs> I, w I went into town to 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 raise funding. And some guys stood side away uh, uh, somewhere and said, "Look at these guys. You guys don't have time. You, I mean, you have nothing, <laughs> nothing to do, do it. <laughs> So I stood and looked at the guy. I said, "Hey, chairman, you." I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm trying to you, be... You are to brag, but... Uh, but at least, you, uh, me too, I get my corner. They do well. You understand? So, I don't, I don't understand what... But all the same. So, it also created this kind of spirit of tolerance in me mm -hmm, to be able to mm -hmm, tolerate mm -hmm. bad energy when it's coming around me okay. and all of that. So, yeah, I really learned a lot from it and it really helped. Okay. Yes. So, uh, now... Okay, let's uh, leave GMB and a whole lot of issues. Yes, yes, any GMB yes, and all that. Yes. Uh, you did your, your, a your man's job. You played your role. Now it's done and dusted. Yes. Okay. Uh, do, do you think of ever supporting any queen again from our part of town? Okay. If the uh, call comes. Well, 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 well. I've, I already have someone we are working together. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, we, we'll worked, we worked from uh, Ms. Navrongo. Okay. Uh, since Polina Kombono. Okay. Okay. We work together. In fact, no. she's very humble, she's respectful, and uh, I'm so I'm so glad I'm working with her. Okay, okay. so uh, we work together. Mr. Vrongo, it was a teamwork. Mm -hmm. You know, she was open to learn. She was open for us to uh, consult people, and God being so good, she won. Then we pursued Miss Upper East 2019. Mm. Well, it was a competition, so. You either expect to win or lose. or lose. So it was unfortunate we did not get what we were aiming for. Mm. But we still have plans. Whatever okay. we're trying to get the platform to achieve, we are still working towards that, okay. which is youth empowerment. Okay. So okay. we're working on it. All right. Yes. Uh, so so what, what inspires you in life? Wow. What inspires Desmond in life? <laughs> wow. Mm. What inspires Desmond is just one thing. Mm. Be at a position where you can comfortably help people without, you know, a grudging heart. Okay. So once I see somebody in need and I can't do it, I'm inspired to get myself in that position where I can comfortably do it without having to complain. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And there is this uh, misconception that you have to have more before you can do. Okay. It's unfortunate that's not it. If you don't start from small when you even get the more you will never be satisfied with it it's mm. in the human nature mm. okay so actually i think needy people is what just you know those people inspire me more trying to be there for those people i just think my life will be fulfilled if i'm able to serve others that's serve it others. yes okay so yeah it's more like uh, uh christ thing jesus christ you serve, <laughs> you serve humanity <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> You're taking some tricks from him. That's too far. Mm, taking some tricks from him. So anyway, are, yes. anyway, let's say I'm so you give off uh, to him. That's great. Yes. So now, uh, Desmond is known for his love for computers. Yeah. Desmond works with computers all the oh, time. Oh man, I love I, those. Yeah. So, uh, what actually do you do with your computers? What do you oh, do? Oh yeah. Today I got a chance to talk to people <laughs> about that. Okay. So yeah. Um. You see, uh, it's a tech world now. Okay. Okay. Uh, there was a time I was watching. I think I was going through Facebook, mm. and then I saw a picture. The picture was showing a movie being shot with a helicopter and the cameraman. Okay. The pilot was there. Mm. Then there is another picture below that is a drone with a camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like I saw that too. <laughs> right. So what that simply meant is those years, the cameraman, the the pilot. Those that was their job. Yes. But a year or some years later, if you don't upgrade yourself, you may be jobless. You'll be jobless because the comp there are things that are changing. Mm. Technology is taking over. If you saw the robots. Yes. <laughs> the cameraman and the pilot all lost their job to a drone. Mm -hmm. Because the drone will go up there and do the whole job. The whole job. Good. So it's a tech well. Mm. So what happens is that 
I just saw the chance and I took it. Mm. Started learning things on my own. Actually, this is how it started. I'm glad to tell you. No, but, but what got you into it? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. going to tell you. Yeah. In, 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 in 2013, okay, I was at college. Okay. I think 2012. Mm. I was in college at Tassi, Tamil College of Education, and they came and installed, um, you know, this thing, wireless okay. at the campus there. And what happened was that I just took an opportunity. You know, actually, the first semester, I had a GP of uh, four, a three point eight. Mm. So the principal called us, we were three, mm. or was it four, to his office. Say, hey, you guys, if you can continue this way, you can be assured of getting uh, a first class. Mm. I said, oh, cool, let's do it. And I was so engrossed in my studies. <laughs> but then, wireless came. Ha, I put those books aside. <laughs> and I started, you know, I'll sit on the computer, I watch YouTube and learn things, how to do this. And then that was where I started. From there, I sat down, watch movie tricks, how they do these movie tricks and what have you. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, I sat down, wrote my own story, came home, went and gathered people, directed them, showed the movie, edited it, <laughs> did everything. <laughs> that was in 2013. So all the self-taught, you taught yourself. Taught myself you... everything. <laughs> that was it. And then I, I think I think I'll make a picture of where that's available mm, to the yeah, yeah, crew, so yeah. that you get it. You know. And then that was it. When I when we we sold that movie, we made a couple of you know bags, you know money from mm -hmm. it. And then I went back again. I started learning uh, things uh, on my own, how to video edit and all of upgrade the skill. Mm. Then we completed and came home. When we came home, Alawa was 287 Ghana cities for me. Okay. It wasn't enough for things. So I started trying to learn things. So one day I was on Ghana web reading, then I saw an advert and I clicked on the advert. It took me to a website. And that website, someone said, oh, I'll teach you how to make like 2,000 Ghana cities a month. And then uh, I said, wow. So I followed down to the website. I saw a Facebook link mm -hmm. and I, it led me to one young man. He's a Nigerian residing in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I spoke to him. He said, yeah, I'll teach you how to buy things at a lower cost from, the out, I mean, from outside the country mm -hmm. and then bring them down here and sell them. Okay. okay. So I said, wow, that's good. So he, he said, okay, I can pay him 70 Ghana cities for him to teach me. I got the money, paid him. But you know, it was, we're still having this mind that fraud is everywhere. So okay. I have to contact his friends. You know, Facebook, your friends are always there. So I contacted his friends, asked. So one guy said, oh, for him, he can entrust him with his bank account. I said, wow, that's the confidence. That's wow. all I need. Wow. So I paid him. Then he came again with another course that was around 400 Ghana CDs. I paid that one too, even though my salary wasn't enough mm. to pay. I had to, to borrow. Okay. I had to borrow from my then girlfriend, now my wife. Oh, wow. Yes, I had to borrow. <laughs> you have a long history. Yeah, yeah. I had to borrow from her, added it up. Besides, she was the one who, she's the one who even bought me my first computer. Wow. My laptop, like my laptop wow. I was using wow. to do wow. that job. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So I, 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 I sent the money to him in all, I sent almost up to thousand Ghana cities, trying to learn from mm, him. Mm. So the other one was how to work for people from like across the globe, anywhere mm -hmm. they are. You sit here and you work for them. They okay. pay you, okay? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, we read news everywhere. Everywhere here. Yeah. Those are you know posted on blogs. blogs. So somebody wants a blog, you have to learn how to design blogs for them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you see the content we read on the website. Mm -hmm. We have people who write those content. Yeah. So if you can write those contents. You go to a marketplace on the internet, offer your service that I can write content for you. Just give me your topic. I'll write the topic, uh, content, content for you. For you. That's one. Uh, designs like this, logos and what have you, mm -hmm. are also offered on the web. Sometimes people will just say, okay, maybe they will send you their product and say, say something about our product. Say it's good. Mm -hmm. And send a video, record a video of it, send it to us. And they pay you for it. How does this become fraud? <laughs> you know, it's, I don't see at times you sit late in the night because you were computer. Exactly. You see, you see, you see, that is the, 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 what is the Mentality. Term? The ignorance. <laughs> because, you see, there's a, we have different time zones. Okay. As at now, I think if you look at USA, we are six hours ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the time we will be sleeping is the time they are actively at work. Engaging. Okay. Exactly. You see. So if you are going to sleep at the time we are sleeping here, that means you lose jobs you should be getting from them. Okay. You understand what okay. I'm saying? So people 
get that misconception. So <laughs> this is how I learned on my own. Oh, I just sat down, learned everything I learned on my own until 2017 that I went for the computer course with Kotri. Kotri. Yes. Wow. So that was so how. So now you have your own uh, uh, office. It's yeah, home, home office. Home office. Yeah. Home office. <laughs> uh, right. So uh, your company is Descodes. Yeah, Descodes. You are the CEO, manager. But, uh, actually, Descodes is a subset of Demtech Innovations. Demtech. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we have Descodes, we have Timbia, and we have a couple of others. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. So Descodes is specifically into web design. Uh, building websites for businesses and organizations and brands. Mm. Yes, but them tech innovations is into IT everything. IT, IT related. IT related. But we have our special areas. Yes. So, so when you hear those rumors, okay, he's into fraud. <laughs> How do you take it? Initially, I was a step, <laughs> but then along the line, I say, oh well, people always have their own point of view. <laughs> I think one guy had that misconception. One day, I just called him. Oh, we had a chat. I took him home. Mm. Oh, we're having a nice time talking, and then I opened my laptop mm. and showed him. So this is what you thought. This is what is. When you fi when I finished, the guy held his smartphone and he said, "That's one. I'm sorry." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that I'm sorry? In fact, it's ignorance. <laughs> I think, well, that's it. So if you don't understand something, it's better you ask you rather ask. than just concluding. Mm. Yeah. But some to say they probably call you for services, IT at times you decline and all that. Uh, it depends. Yeah. I haven't actually declined anyone's service though, it depends. But some people always like to override. Like, you see, no, okay. <laughs> I have my day job. Mm -hmm. And the time I will leave my day job, to come and sit on my computers. You want to come and do a philanthropic work. When you know you are going, what I'm going to do for you is going to generate money for you. Mm -hmm. So why don't you oil my mouth too? <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if I realize that you just want to sit on me, uh, I beg, I just want to, I'll just tell you I'm busy. You understand? Uh -huh. That's it. Because this is my mode of operation for my services. Uh, any amount you pay me. I take a percentage of it and keep down for this our philanthropic uh, jobs we are okay. doing. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's how it is. Mm. So if yeah. I don't do that, I'm not able to raise anything. Mm. Yes. Right now, to some interesting things around. Yeah. You're familiar with the entertainment industry in Arong. I'm sure you know that it's now growing. Yeah, 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 and you yeah. You see musicians rising from uh, every, every corner. <laughs> Every yeah. corner. It's like it's yeah. like it's like a, a, what is the term I should use? It's, a, it's like a swamp of bees. Yes, just, a swamp just, of bees. There, there has been an influx of bees. <laughs> so, so, so who is your favorite? Oh, who is your favorite? Never honestly, me. And yeah, you understand? Him. I understand him, and he kind of like relates life. Okay, then if I want to go next, I will say Willie Young. Okay, he also talks about my style or let me say my area okay. of music. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Then Carl Blinks has been poking my nose like this <laughs> because he, he, has, he, has, <laughs> he is inviting me to the table. You understand? <laughs> you know, his style of music, some will just go the way I like for that kind of music. When I just get it, oh, come on, I'll play it all day. Mm. Yeah, that's I think that's that's great, all right? Yeah, so uh. Do you probably support him in shows he does, listen to his songs? Okay, I think uh, I, w I listen to um, rap nigger songs. Mm -hmm. I haven't supported him in any show yet. Yeah. Okay, okay. I haven't done that. Uh, for Blanks, he we work together. So mm -hmm. uh, I think the first, um, the first, um, the media edition of Jogobu Empire. Empire okay. uh, Connect. I, yes, Jogobu Connect. Connect. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, we I, I supported in that with one other young entrepreneur in Avongo, mm -hmm. uh, Prosper okay. uh, Umponi. Yeah. Uh, he we we worked together with him. Uh, with him. Uh, last year I couldn't do much though because I was really uh, caught up with so much of work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but I'm hoping this year we'll do more. Do more. Yes, yes. No, that, that would be great. Yeah. So uh, now with um, the company you're running, yeah. where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? Oh. Maybe in the next probably 10 years, do you see yourself being established in a bigger office with people working under you and all that? I, uh, I would love that. I would love, love that. that. <laughs> and I'm projecting that. But my ultimate goal is actually how to increase computer literacy in this part of our region okay okay that is something that has been in my heart mm -hmm. 2017 20 uh, no 2016 2017 i was able to organize seminars and uh mentorship programs in avungo mm -hmm. and even boga mm -hmm. 
Was it for free or? Yeah, it was for free. Okay. It was for free. How was the attendance? The attendance, the first one was poor, mm -hmm. but UDS students came. Okay. The second one was a little bit okay. Mm. Then the third one was highly patronized. Mm. When people started benefiting from it, that was a time when uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency okay. was booming. So I gave a few tricks and tips to people. People invested. Somebody put 5,000, made like 10,000 Ghana cities wow. in less than a week. Wow. And then, you know, he took his money and called this one. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, I did that, but at least people got to know about some of these opportunities out there. No. So I think it's within my heart. Just yesterday, I was even thinking about it. So if I could get the right support to organize such seminars, because it's part of uh, Lena Foundation. Okay. Uh, okay. Komono, Komono. Lena, you know, uh, uh, her, her Miss team. Yeah, Miss Navrongo right? 2018. Yeah. It's part of a. Uh, agenda to go into youth empowerment that was what she was working on mm -hmm. uh, towards uh, you know during the Miss Upper East okay. uh, youth empowerment so we're looking at organizing seminars that will help in you know creating more computer literacy and you know nowadays we don't even need to take you know if I call you what are you you don't need to tell me okay pass through that window <laughs> and then you see a big tree no yeah. just take your phone and send the coordinates okay. you know just send a location and i'll just follow it to you there are a lot of people don't know use simple mm -hmm. so these things are very important so i think that is what i want to do but to do that i have to establish a company that is very good standing to be able to offer these services mm -hmm. but all the same i'm we're going to integrate everything all right yes so uh, now Finally, probably, uh, what do you want to see change in Avrongo? One particular thing you think is a, a serious problem, and as a young man rising, you would love to see change. You don't want your kids to grow and see some of these things. Oh boy, <laughs> I think I think one of the challenges in Avrongo I want to change, uh, want it to change is alcohol. 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 Alcohol is 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 damaging and bringing down creative young men and women. Nowadays, the women even drink more than the guys, you understand? <laughs> so alcohol is a challenge. And the ignorance and not ready to learn, but wanting to make things the easiest way is one thing. I think that it has to be changed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can't just jump from step one to step ten. They like need to, you have to follow the ladder. You have to follow the process. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have to put your back into it. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to embrace agriculture. We are drifting away from it. This was an area where... People will come in and buy tomatoes, who buy garden eggs in large quantities and so much. We have dropped tomatoes, rice farming, we don't even farm that much anymore. Uh, maybe I think maybe because of the rehabilitation of the, the, dam. the dam and mm. all of that. And uh, I think that is one. But I also think politics too, we have to have a, a mind change towards it. Mm -hmm. uh, not because you get something out of it. Look at the collective gain. Don't look at one person's uh, uh, what you are going to get for your own packet. Mm. I think that is what I would like my kids to grow up and see that yes. those things have changed. Mm, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So finally, encourage the youth out there. Oh, good words. Mm. You are an inspiration to so many of them who see you around, even to your colleagues and all that. Inspire yeah. them. Okay. So I think um, uh, first and foremost, I think you have to believe yourself. Uh, believe in yourself. Okay. Mm. Uh, one of the things that is always challenging for us is the fact that when you lose your confidence, frustration sets in. And when frustration sets in, nothing that you do will work. Okay, so never lose your confidence. Okay, and look, I think there's so much social media packaging going on. You see somebody look so well and they'll use filters and one of you and post it on Facebook and you want to die because you think you are, you are not doing enough. My brother, oh my sister, It's all look, packaging, eh? Come on, it's packaging. <laughs> but another person hasn't even gotten some cocoa to drink self. Mm -hmm. It's just packaging. Okay? Don't force yourself more than you can actually go. Go at your own pace. At the right time, you know, things will fall in place. And sit down to plan. Sit down to project. What do I want to do? Consult. Reach out to people. Don't feel so big. And I think this. This thing that we feel like some works are not for us and some works exactly. are for us. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a degree and you feel that this work is not your class. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. What are degrees? You understand? Somebody asks, well, would you burn your certificate for $50,000? Somebody says, I'll burn the certificate and go and burn that. Yeah, school. <laughs> you understand? You have to learn and use it. Don't base because you are a degree holder or what have you. Uh, because I think 
we have to put our back into what we are doing and build on your self-confidence don't look at what others are doing today and think that you are you know behind don't look there are many behind uh, in front of you but yeah. look behind there are plenty to behind behind you. you so you are at a comfortable lead so that's very very important okay <laughs> well we say the comfortable lead yes. not uh, what we had yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right so uh, now uh, uh i would like to thank you but we have a a very simple game we want to play. Okay. I'll mention a word, you tell me what immediately comes to mind. Oh boy. Yes. I'll just oh. mention a word, you tell me what comes to mind. Okay. So when I say love, what comes to mind? Oh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I say ICT, what comes to mind? Oh, my laptop, my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let me see. Oh, what if I say politics, what comes to mind? Oh God. <laughs> Corruption. <laughs> 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 okay, lovely viewers, we've come to the end of the interview with Desmond Kampui. Now, if you need any website design, you see the gentleman. He's also a farmer to leave and talk about that, but anyway, he spoke at length about farming and all that. This has been educative, entertaining, interesting, and informing. This was Prime Connected, who came all the way from the promised makeup artistry right in Abrongo. Uh, just so present uh, perseverance, uh, drinking sports, popular drinking sports in the room. Uh, thank you very much, viewers. We'll come your way the next time with another interesting interview. It's bye.